Seventh race on the program, class four again here. This is a thousand metres. Uh, we're the first starter in the shape of blue stitch. We have 12 going to post. Gorgeous Vitality heads the list. Frankie Law and Zach Burton uh, won very convincingly. Three and three quarter lengths, the winning margin last time over course and distance. Racing Fighter drops in classes into class four for the first time now. Fabulous eights, two time winner over the trip. Both those wins though at Chartin. Blue Stitch makes his uh, debut for Tony Millard. Antoine Hamelin rides him from Barrier One. Sergeant Pepper blinkers on for the first time. He's behind Gorgeous Vitality last time out. Infinity win, beaten favourite over the 1400, now takes the drop in trip. Viva Mama run up to Gorgeous Vitality last time. Chungwa, Jin Sen, and Strife for Glory eligible for class five for Chris So, where they take the lightweight here with a couple of pounds off for Matthew Poonter. 1,000 metre start has Viva Mama leading off a good pace and a beat all, as you said, but gorgeous vitality last time. Does get a turnaround in the weights. Fabulous 8's three wide. He's not quite going as well as what he has in the past. Chung Wah Jing Shen's got speed. Sergeant Pepper into a good spot. Yellow Finn Paul, he's going to switch across to the turf after finishing down the track on debut on the all-weather. Likely favourite, gorgeous vitality, not far off the pace. Yeah, I thought Yellow Finn, a lot of things went wrong on his debut as well. Momentum Galaxy's drawn wide, so I think that they might have to go all the way to the back with him. All right, well, we'll start off here with uh, with Gorgeous Vitality, who's absolutely bolted up, uh, Mark. But the two horses that finish behind him in Sergeant Pepper and Viva Mubber in second place get a £10 swing in the weights now. And that is the worry, isn't it? Got them all in, all three, but he didn't just win. He won by three and three quarters, and he was a third two starts ago behind Super Commander. He worked to this win, Paul, and he certainly delivered going to say that he can do it again, but £10 isn't going to make it easy for him. No, yeah, this is the way he won it, didn't he? And, and as you say, he was unlucky at his last start, but they haven't missed him. I think that's the point we're trying to make. The other two horses, I think, are good chances as well. So, look, I think it could be. A, I think it's a strong form race. I think all three can feature. OK. Infinity win, Paul. Back at the trials here and showing a bit of speed as well after being beaten favourite at Chartin over the 1400. Yeah, so nice enough trial. It was just a quiet trial, but he, he got to the front and he led nicely. He's got barrier number three. Uh, as well, so uh, look, he's uh, he's going to be in a nice position. He should be able to get his chance. He won by seven lengths. Mm. I'd like to know what a quiet trial, a non-quiet trial is. Well, they're not going quick. <laughs> are they? No, I mean they're not going quick, are they? Look at them. He yeah. he did win by a big space. Um, There'll be support for him. There's been plenty of support for him right throughout his career. I know you're more keen on him than Paul and I, Andrew. Yeah, well, hopefully not too much support. We want an each-way price. Uh, <laughs> back at the trials here for Chung Wah Jing Shen Mok and Blue Stitch, the first starter. He's had a trial around uh, Happy Valley has Blue Stitch, so he's seen the track as well. Chung Wah Jing Shen's got early pace but drawn out in Barry number eight. Um, just wanted to show this, Paul Mulder show what Blue Stitch did. And you said his track work's been OK too. Yeah, it hasn't been too bad leading into it as well. Look, he's a big price on debut. I'd like to see him go around. He's 11, uh, 11 84 pounds, so he's, he's quite a big horse for Happy Valley. OK, well, interesting to see what uh, he can do. He's drawn well, hasn't he? Or drawn low, I should say. Barry, yeah, barrier one inside gate, that won't hurt. Uh, gorgeous Vitality, Paul, probably no surprise, his favourite again. Yeah, so he's, he's going to go on top. I thought it was a very strong win and he did absolutely bolt. And as for such, he's gone up £10. Viva Mama from the front, he'll be in the right position. Sergeant Pepper will get a nice run as well. And we'll give Yellowfin another chance because everything went wrong for him on debut. One, ten, six, and 7. With the one also gorgeous vitality, it's just the £10. If he copes with that, he wins the race. He's on top to beat number 10, Viva Mama. Same weight as the second behind gorgeous vitality. Going to put Fabulous 8 in at the 10 and 3.2, despite a whitish draw and the fact that he isn't going as well as what he can. Blinkers go back on, and he's placed 6 from 12, course and distance, and 6, Sergeant Pepper, with those blinkers on also. 1, 10, 3 and 6. I think the 1, 6 and 10 you've got to include, but take a bit of a chance here with Infinity Win, who most recent start over 1,000 metres at Sha Tin, a couple of starts back, was only beaten at length and showed some good speed there as well. So hopefully we can nick an each-way chance about him at Infinity Win there in uh, race number 7, which is a good class 4 here over the 1,000 metres.